By moving controls such as CVs and edit points, brand new functionality in Alias 2010 lets me enter a symmetrical modeling mode where I can select geometry and modify it with the opposite side following in a symmetrical manner. The first thing I'm going to do is create a surface from this centerline curve and then use the symmetrical model tool to match it to the mesh scan. I'm using the draft tool to build a quick surface across the centerline. By checking on double sided in the draft tool, I can quickly make this surface large enough to cover the scan to the outermost edge of the surface I want to match. Building across centerline also ensures I have a smooth transition between the right and left side when I am done. After making the draft surface, I am breaking the history and adding more information to the surface, giving me greater control later in matching it to the scan. Here, I am manually changing the surface to a fifth degree surface in both the U and V directions. The symmetrical model will look at the layer the curve or surface is on and use the layer's symmetry plane to define the symmetry of the picked object. To use symmetrical model, I select the surfaces or curves I want to use and then find symmetrical model in the palette under the Object Edit tab. Symmetry is visually identified by the yellow square in the middle of this draft surface. The layer that this surface is getting symmetry information from for this tool to work has its symmetry plane at the center line of the model. This is the default functionality for layer symmetry. With symmetrical model turned on, I'm going to use Move CV to adjust the surface hulls and bring it closer to the scan's visual cross sections. As you can see, when I move the hulls on my control side, the opposite side gives me visual reference using the blue circles to show that I am not only moving something, but I am using the symmetrical model tool to match the direct opposite side. Using Move CV, I can grab hulls, individual CVs, and move them in XYZ space, slide them, or move them normal to the surface. Once I get pretty close using Symmetrical Model and Move CV, I'm going to use the Extend tool to extend the surface past the boundaries of the mesh. Now that the surface is close, I can use the Enhanced Capabilities of the Extend tool to extend each individual corner or move them separately or even possibly snap each corner to a point on each side. Here I am going to simply drag the center arrow to extend the entire edge. Now I am going to use the enhanced functionality of the Trim Convert tool so I can trim this large surface to the center. Trim Convert can be found in the palette under the Surface Edit tab, Trim Convert. With 3D trimming and Project Normal turned on, I can project the center line onto the surface and trim the surface all in one operator. After projecting the curve onto the surface, I choose the side I want to keep just like any trim operator. Before exiting the tool, I can further tweak the amount of information I need on the trim surface. In the Trim Convert option box, I find that I can control the U and V degree and spans after I trim convert the surface back to the center line. I am changing the surface to a fifth degree surface in both the U and V directions and hitting recalculate. The surface is now converted to the boundaries of the new surface after trimming with a higher degree than the original surface.